Simon, fantastic three points today, but we made a hard work of it. What was your overall view of the performance? Yeah, I thought for probably 70, maybe 80 minutes, we were really good. Looked organised and um, going forward, certainly got the th a big threat in front of goal and scored three good goals, so I was really pleased with the attacking display. Um, defensively, poor at times, second half, uh, and to cling on in a game where, you know, like I say, for 75 minutes probably we were in real control. Um, shouldn't be where we're at now with the experience on the pitch, we have to be better. You talk about the experience on the pitch. Danny Ellis coming back into the side, into a back four in recent weeks, has made us look so solid. Danny's come off today with an injury. How is he? Too early to tell, but it, it, it was an injury sustaining training on Monday um, and it tightened up throughout the week. Until yesterday, where to be fair to Danny, you know, he's desperate to play games and um, uh, he's come in and done a really good job, but you could see it was... Um, uh, stopping him from having free range of movement, you know, um, in, in the last ten minutes of his performance, so we had to drag him off and change it round a bit. Um, but yeah, we overall though defensively we have to be better, you know, if we, we want to keep going on this run. So at the other end of the field, Simon Ainge yet again getting his goals. How impressed were you with him and Sweeney up there? Well, it's another another brace for Ainge, and he's done it again, hasn't he? Um, and I think Sweeney was one of the game's best players today I think he was a real handful and he got his shoulders in on the centre half early didn't he and, you know and nailed him and a very powerful lad and he, he's, he's learning the trade of a centre forward again um, and I think his performance was top notch Well one change that really changed the game for us was the introduction of Andy Thanodge thought he was fantastic in midfield how good is it for you as a manager to have players like Andy on the bench? Yeah great and Liam Agnew have been training well so waiting in the wings but I thought Andy's contribution was it was telling, really, with the end result. I thought um, suddenly we had that that ability on the pitch, the fluidity in midfield to go from one wing to the other instead of being a bit tunnel vision. And um, yeah, I thought I thought his contribution was very good. And you know, he's, he's knocking on the door now. So a good three points today. It makes last week's draw not look as bad. It's still we're still very much in the hunt. What is your message to the lads going into a massive game against Fylde next week? Well, if we attack it, you know, with the same. Aggression, same willpower, and uh, and there's a desire there to keep claiming three points and and putting pressure and you know on the teams above. Um, we've done that, you know, obviously with, with Arlington today, and um, the, it was a poor performance, and we were, we we were without lots of good players at, on our home ground, so we were determined to turn it around and get the three points today. We needed it anyway, um, but next week's just as important, and we have to show again that we can do it against a really good team. And just finally, on in the injury front, Peter Crook missed out today with some bruise into his stomach. How far is he? And obviously, Dominic Knowles has had his operation now. Are we likely to see Dom before the end of the season? I, I'd imagine that we might have a couple of weeks of training out of Dom, but I think it'd be unfair to, you know, put him in after so long out. Um, we've got to build him back up, and I go go watch a lot of games. You sort of the rest of my backroom staff, and there's not many uh, Dominic Knowles about uh, that. What he can do as a forward with his movement, his finishing ability. Uh, so we're all wishing him the best and make sure he comes back better than ever.